All right, good morning everyone from another day here in Jaffna, Northern Sri Lanka. We're heading off out on the bike. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where we're going, but we're just gonna head out and see what's going on. Look at this, goat party. Check these boys out. Man, I come. The goat chief. Man, I come, good morning. So we're just driving through a little fishing community down by the water, Christian community. As you can see, there's churches everywhere and goats. All right, lads, coming through. What the bloody hell's going on here then? Goat party. Hey, everyone, come on, come on. Don't be standing in road. Oh, they're eating the litter. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? They deserve better than that, don't they, those young lads? I do think, though, when they, when they see the goats, right, or well, any livestock eating stuff like that, it does make you think, it can't be good to eat, like, when they're eating, like, landfill and sewage. It can't be good for the meat. We've just driven past this little shop selling some snacks, so we might get a little bit of something to eat. Well, I come, sir. How are you? This just caught my eye. Sweet? Sweet. Molo. Molo. Please can we get two? Two. Just two piece. Two piece. Okay. Eight rupees. Eighty or eight, we'll see. It's gonna be eighty, isn't it? I don't know, maybe not. So here we got I don't know what this is, but we're gonna try it. Because that's what we do. Yeah, we'll get two. Hello, morning. morning. Do you want one, sir? Or is this your shop? Yeah, oh, he's trying to buy a shopkeeper so his own goods. Okay. Nanju. How much? Did you say it? You said 80. Thank you. I said 80 for one or? Oh, whatever. I don't know. Thank you very much. They're just giving you some change, Leash. Oh, Roman and Andrew, thank you. Oh, bloody hell. So we'll try these right here next to all our goat mates. Monica. I've got to be honest, in this little fishing community, everyone is quite nice. You should try these. Yeah, everyone, I mean, obviously, we can't speak to each other, but everyone can smile. Oh, it smells not very sweet, to be honest. It almost feels like a... Sticky. Oh, that feels weird, doesn't it? Yeah, so we have no idea what this is, but oh, what's inside, please? Go on. Is that jaggery? Yeah, it looks like jaggery, but I'm not sure what this is. It's like beans. Well, I don't know what this is, but let's go for it. Oh, super. That's well with that. Filling in that. Is it? Palmera. Kitu? No, Palmera. Coconut. Coconut. Oh. Right. It's very good. Nandu. Coconut. This tastes coconut, eh? Mm. The inside tastes like jaggery. It's like some type of natural sugar, I don't know. It tastes a bit like spice. Like cinnamon. This. Buses, old chaps. Do we think there's a fish market here? Yeah? So all the fishing boats are here going in, so we might check it out and see what's going on. We've got our first look at a Sri Lankan fish market, if we can. Hey, it's alright that. I, I rate that. Very good. 40 each. So we're going to head down here and check out the harbour area, see what's going on, see if any fishermen are bringing in some fresh catch. Then I come. Hello, sir. A lot of fishermen knocking around. It's a bit quiet, isn't it? Everyone's got the nets laid out. What are they doing? Very chilled. Oh, that must be the fish hall. There's a bit of activity in there. Maybe we'll have something. Hey, it stinks of fish, doesn't it? 
Can you believe it? Fish area, fish harbour, fish market stinks of fish. Who would have thought? So, let's head inside. Well, I come. Good morning, lads. Everyone's just sitting around, absolutely chilling out. We've got some cats here. <laughs> That's how you know you're near the fish. They're trying to get some scraps, some little fish that jump out the buckets, aren't they? Pour them up. The herons on the boats as well. Whatever they are. Got them all. Here they come, the lads, the fishermen all coming back. Like a fleet of Vikings, look at this. Into the harbour. And you can see everyone's carrying buckets of fish straight from the boat in here for sale. So we'll take a quick look. Might be a bit hectic. But we'll um, check it out anyway. Look, they're all coming back. Shall we look inside? Yeah. Here we go into Fish Nation. It's packed. So everyone will come here, I'm guessing, to buy foods for like restaurants or maybe just to cook at home as well. So straight away, our mates here have got loads of fresh squid. Wow. Lana Kamsa, hello. Got all this fresh squid they've got. It's quite good that, you know. Yeah, look, all the ink's coming out. So what have we got? Literally, look, everything is being brought in fresh. So here we go, we can check out a few of the lads' cats of the day. Now as you can see, it's a proper local fisherman's market, so you never know what you're going to get. It just depends on how lucky they were on the day. No guarantee. You might have some big fish one day, another day you might just have some tiny ones. One day you might get a rare catch. But everyone is um, hustling in here, this is a proper working market, isn't it? Let's see what we can find. There's lots of squid as well. More squid. Oh, some shrimpies. They look quite good, don't they? They look good. See if it's crowd in here. Crab as well. Right, I'm going to have to take you over here because I've seen the crab king of the market. I've seen a geezer sitting down here. He looks like an absolute boss. Check my mate out. Oh, he's got, he's got, he sold them. People, this man had a, a sheet full of crab. Man, I come. He had a sheet full of crab and he sold them. Someone's bought the lot. So our mate's got loads of prawns. Man, I come. Yeah? Also. It's a bit flipping hectic. Things are coming in and they're just getting bored straight away. I've seen a really interesting fish. I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't know what that is, I can see. You can see these fish with the long noses. Man, I can't say. So the man who is in charge just stands here. And he just shouts and tries to get custom. Hello, sir. Fish, yes, very good. Fresh, fresh fish. Fresh, yeah. This one, yeah, what is that one? This one here. What one? It's a good one. Oh, okay. Is this the man who's caught them? Oh, gosh, look. I need to show you this, everyone. We just had a fresh delivery of crab. And these crab look fantastic. They look really good. I'm guessing these will go like hotcakes. Look at them. I mean, that is as fresh as it gets, isn't it? They're all alive, literally. Straight out the bucket onto that mat. And we got this big crowd here. Check it out. Crab seems to be a massive hit. Crab is a hit, yeah. It's like an auction. And I can. Cute old lady there. Should we head off? Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's, cool. it's a bit mad though. This kind of chap here said so I can have a look at his fish over here. Because we just saw these puffed up in a basket. I don't know what these are, some type of puffer fish. But check them out. Look at these little boys. They look like they're having an awful day, don't they? 
Oh yeah, check them out. More squid. Let's get out of here. Welcome. Cheers, sir. Andrew. Might have to say hello to him. Let's get out of the fish market. I'll tell you what, a decent fish market that, and like I say, as local as it gets, fresh as it gets, you know, no mass scale fishing there, it's just all small scale, which is the best way it should be in these um, small communities. But I've got to say, I'll tell you what the best part about a fish market is, having fish juice all over your feet from walking around and sloshing in it. But oh well, we'll live. Cool that, it went from dead to absolutely heaving in about two minutes. Right. So I think we'll head off on the bike and get some breakfast. Some traditional Tamil food. I think that's the plan. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh dear. The plastic fires up here in Northern Sri Lanka are ruthless. And they always do them at live around sunrise, sunset, morning and at night. Oh, gives you a right headache if you're breathing too much of that. Look at this going over the train tracks. I mean, we, we all understand they have to do it. I'm guessing there's no proper like, waste disposal service. But just is what it is. In these parts of the world, it's what people do. I guess it's better than just leaving it all over the shore or throwing it into the sea or throwing it into rivers. It's just started blooming pissing it down. Can't be arsed for driving around in the rain. Nobody needs that. It ain't fun. So if we, if we don't have to be somewhere, then we're not gonna go anywhere. So that's under this tree, which is doing the job. Can't be arsed with this. That we're back in England. Look at the absolute state of that. It's starting to slow down, so we left our tree. I said, Leash, let's go for it. Let's get to this breakfast spot. And then this happened on that open road. Absolute shambles. So we're sitting in a fruit and veg shop. It smells quite good. In a minute, when we can hear, when the rain stops, we're going to try this little fruit here. Oh, gosh. This ain't good. So yeah, we're gonna try this fruit. Now, I don't know the name of this. Our horse in Colombo told us we forgot. They're kind of like baby rose apples, like really small ones. So we're just sifting through trying to find a few good ones. They're like proper organic bad boys, these. Mm -hmm. you see how much they are? A kilo. I mean, we, what have we got there? Like 50 grams, 100 grams? Yeah, so I come. Let's see what the lady gives us. 75 grams, that's all we've got. 120, so it's like 25 beer. Let's try these. Will they be sweet or will they be watery? Let's find out. One thirty. Maybe 10 as well. Can you? Ten. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. We thought it was 120 rupees. It's nine rupees for four or five of these. Nine rupees. What? This is free. But what is the name? Yeah, Jambuka. Jambuka. Thank you very much. Nanju. Because I was giving it 120 like, you're right, no. And she was like, no, it's 10. Okay. What is that though? Let me find out what 10 rupees is because I, I mean, I know we've only got about four of them. So I wasn't expecting it to be expensive. Like, it was 2p. Right. But these little guys, I mean, everyone always cries when we eat fruit without washing it, but you know what? We'll just do it and we're always fine, so. Famous last words, but let's try it. Little baby. Jambuka, Jambuka. Jambuka. Jambuka, Jambuka. 
That's weird. It tastes perfume, it. It's a bit bitter, huh? Mm. It's like a robot, but it's a lot less water content. Mm. It's, a bit, it's a lot more dense. Mm. Like an actual apple. Less like a cucumber. That's weird, that, because... It's pretty, it tastes like, yeah, like a bit perfume, a bit flowery, a bit florally. And like, not sweet in the slightest. You need that with some sugar and salt. And oh, dip it. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, because you're a bit like... Not my favourite fruit in the book. We've come to a proper local little restaurant just on the outskirts of Jaffna. And it's in a right nice location, look, on this lake. Look how green it is. Beautiful stuff. So we're going to head in um, and get some traditional food, a good old hearty breakfast. Let's see how this is. Now this place is called Amachi, which means grandmother, we are told. And all the food is cooked by ladies. And our friend there just told us they bring it from home. It's just like proper um, home cooked food. It smells fantastic. And I'm surprised. Everything is in Tamil, Sinhalese and English. That's good, isn't it? So it's really good already. I just walk it in. Thank you. Enjoy your stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, thank nice you. to see you again. See you. Safe journey. Thank you. Met him yesterday in Jaffa. We've seen him again. What are the odds of that? So let's take a look, see what we've got. Small world, yeah. See? What have we got? String hopper, dosa, hopper, pitu, vada. Oh, all the classics, all your absolute classics. Vanakam. Hoppers. I might get a pitu, you know. I do fancy it. With some coconut sambal. Vanakam. Right, where do we where do we order? You go to your station, okay. It is a tough choice, isn't it? Ooh, looks very good. Okay. I don't know what that is, but it looks quite good. You want to get some of that? And see, I think in here, depending on what food you're after, you just go to the station under these signs and ask the woman on the other side, the lady, tell her what you want, tell her what you want, and then she plates it up for you. I like it here. This is exactly what I do. If I had a house, get a plate and then wrap it so they don't have to do the washing up. <laughs> Laziness at its finest. So yeah, check this out. It's like a decent little spot, isn't it? Apparently it's government run and it's just like affordable, tasty food for the local people. There's a few locations here in Jaffa area. Oh, look at that you've got. Oh, this samba, samba. Samba. Oh, look at that. What's that? It's that some type of chutney. From Anandri. Hey, that looks like a good plate of food, that doesn't it? That's like proper home cooked food. It looks over. Right, let me get mine. I think Ellis is on the string coppers. It's a chill spot in here. Everyone's just scanning their breakfast before they've probably got to work. Oh. Hey, look at this. Wow, that looks yummy. I love it here. When you walk, you're there ordering English. When they think you can't like, speak a word of Tamil, and you hit them with a Roman and they, they just have a crop of chocolate for themselves, and you go, haha, Roman <laughs> Need to wash your hands, is there a sink in it? Yeah, it's behind there. Look at this. So, we've just realised, I think Alicia's actually got putu, but already like broken up, not in the tube, so it's just, what is it, like um, steamed rice and like coconut. And you've got some type of chutney there. It looks really good for that. And she poured those sauces over the yeah. top. Then I've got an absolute classic string hoppers. Look at these. Made with the, um, what is it? What is it? The brown wheat brown flour, wheat flour. Whatever. Yeah. Like brown bread. You know what I mean. And then coconut sambal. And a lot of sauce thrown over the top. Those gravies. That looks really good. Let's try these string hoppers then. Got that for a plate of food there. What do we do? 
makes everything in bread come up a bit. I really do like these, you know. Just get a bit of the um, coconut sambal as well, a bit of everything. Things have panned on this, isn't it? Let's try. Whoa. Spicy. Oh, they're really good. So I really like these because of the texture. Can you see? That little noodle. They're very good. It's just it's simple, simple food, simple tasty food, super fresh, they've just been steamed, they're very hot. Mm. And the coconut sambal itself. It's really good. A little bit sweet, spicy. So leash. Let's see how this is. I think I got the pitu. And this uh, sambal that she put on top looks delicious. It's got that squash and potatoes in it. It looks really yummy. Look at that. Got a big bite. That chutney looks good as well on the left, whatever that is. Try to make all fair. It's all good. It's spicy. It's so delicious. Try that chutney. <coughs> the, ch the chutney looks spicy too. Loads of bread chilli in it. Well, really it's like a coconut chutney, that. Yeah. It's really coconut. It's spicy. Really? Yeah. It's well, delicious, but it's hot. What's this you've got here? Are you enjoying the food? Oh, yeah. Oh, delicious. The food is fantastic. Where are you yeah. from? From England, sir. England? Which yeah. part? Um, near Manchester. I'm from Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes. Oh, Blackburn. You know Blackburn? Blackburn, yeah. That is our, our town, Blackburn. Ah, <laughs> oh, alright. You're yeah, from Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes, yeah. yeah, we know Milton Keynes. You know Milton Keynes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are, you are from Manchester, yeah? Near Manchester, Blackburn. Blackburn, yeah, nearly one hour right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you enjoy the food? Yeah, yeah it's really good. It's I'm on the string hoppers. How long the holiday? 25 days. 25 days? Yeah. yeah. What, what are you eating in here? Uh, it's a uh, mean uh, crunchy, mean uh, cream. Uh, what is this? It's, yeah, same like. Um, the rice, yeah. brown rice, and uh, make some uh, uh, eat in the fresh yeah. vegetable. Yeah. So, like, this, this is a drink. Huh? A drink. Yeah, drink. Oh wow. The same like the soup. Soup. You know vegetable soup. Oh wow. Yeah. The same, same like that. It's very healthy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they um, catch people only for the in the morning. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. looks very good. Huh? It's very nice. Can you please order me one? Can you please order me one? Yeah, sure. I would love to try this as well. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. You have this one. You have this one. Oh, from an Very nice. Thank you so much. What a kind chap. I, I couldn't not ask about that drink, Leash. Look at this. Looks very interesting. Have to try it. When you see something like that, you have to try it. So what we were just saying then was, Leash has got a cup of hot milk. How's that? Not dry, yeah. Oh, it's really good. Because you put a tablespoon of sugar in it. Oh, that sounds good. The hot cup of milk makes it rain in. <laughs> then I also got a fresh lemon juice. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. It's just fresh juice. Like fresh, clean juice. That's really kind of that guy, actually. He just got this for himself for his breakfast and I pinched it off him accidentally. <laughs> Accidentally. Should we try that as well while we're here? You just drink it. Well, that's interesting. It's quite nice. Like a vegetable soup. Hmm. I think it needs to stir. There's lots of bits underneath. Give it a mix up. Here, yeah, look. It's just full of rice. Look at that. Let's try it again now. Mm. That's fantastic, super fresh again. Got all the rice in there, which is really soft. That's a good breakfast one, that. I think you'll really like that, Leash. Have a try on that. I think you really like it. 
Mm, it's good though. It's really sweet. It's not. It's really sweet. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Sir. Yes. This is very good. Very nice. Very tasty. Yeah. yeah. Very good. But it's uh, first in the morning. In the morning, you do. Yeah. Oh, very good. Good for you for me. Yeah. For you for me. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy your food as well. <laughs> right. Let's finish all the food now and stop chatting crap. Well, it's good though, isn't it? String hoppers, good choice. I couldn't help myself. I'm already stuffed. But I saw a lady over there making some beautiful milk hoppers. So here we go. Coconut milk hopper, look at these. These little beauties. So let's try them. Look at that, nice and crunchy. Oh, right. I hate this bit because you can never get to the middle. You always have to bite the crunchy bit first. Here we go. They're always so good. Very sweet. Very sweet. Like a dessert. That's why they're so good. Always a classic. I can't stay away from them. Got all the milk in there. Tastes like pancake there. The best day of the year. Confessions of a foodaholic. -er. I was about to wash my hands, I was on the way out, and I walked past the station selling these, and I thought, what are they? I have to try that. Oh, mate. Oh, they're just a couple for me, just so I could try. So these are dosa. But they're a different type. We never had these before. They're tiny, very spongy, almost look like a crumpet. Would you like one? No, I'm very full. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can tell me what they like. I will review. We're going to go to every single station here, aren't we? We're going to leave. And we're going to have to just fall asleep outside. We're going to have to roll home. <laughs> oh, they are so hot, so fresh. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to have to wait a minute. Yeah, it's like a cake. And. Oh, it smells fermented. So the batter is obviously fermented. So this one actually has quite a sour smell to it. Let's try it with the um, sambal. There we go. It's very good. That's so interesting though. It's got like a proper fermented sour taste, more so than any batter you've eaten yet in Tamil Nadu or Sri Lanka. Mmm, sour. Now to pay for all the food, I think you actually have to pay each individual lady, you know, at each station. It's really cool to you, just all these ladies cooking fresh home cooked food. Look at this, big kitchen, okay. So we pay this lady 150 and then we, yeah, we have to pay everyone. Wow, I can see her um, put two there, it looks really good. I'll see if we can take a look. It looks fresh, it's steaming. Okay, Ramananju. Can I have a look at this? The putu? There's the putu, fresh. Oh, and I see you've got the, the chili. This, this looks beautiful. I like, that looks good. Okay, Ramananju. Oh, the sambal. What's that? The rice? Rice, rice, rice. Okay, thank you so much. So the rice they use is like, it's like really short and like thick and chubby. I don't know the name of it, but it's quite good. So who's next on the hit list? So we just had two milk copper. Let's see, just give her the nose. <laughs> 50, okay, Ramba Nandri. So Alicia's was 150, the hoppers were 50, and then I think it was the next oh, next lady. Hoppers. Oh, string hoppers, yeah, sorry. Let's see, I like this because they just take the note. 100, okay, Thanks. Roman Andre. Next one. Next one, Leash, I think, yeah. This is actually impressive, she's making them fresh here, as you can see, pouring them into that little skillet. Look at that. So we only had two of these, so I think these will be um, very affordable. It does smell good, doesn't it? This whole kitchen smells wonderful. Just hard-working ladies doing what they do. Making top quality food. 
There's your standard dosa over there. There's the type we're used to. This is new, but it's still delicious. The guy we got speaking to has actually paid for these two for us. That's very kind, right. Last stop, look, we've gone down every single lady near enough. Now we're the juice lady. You see how much the juice is? That fresh lime juice is really good to be fair. And as you can see, just juice made fresh, blended fresh. How much? Oh, the juice as well, the milk, yeah. Okay, Roman Andre, thank you so much. Okay, everyone, so the milk and the juice was 150 for both. Now, if my calculations are correct, that brings all that food we had, that entire breakfast, everything, at 450, just over one pound. And I have to say, the food was fantastic. Our core eaters, everyone was really nice. All the ladies were really nice. It was a really good experience, that. Incredible value for home-cooked, tasty food. So yeah, Sri Lankan government, you're onto one. I like it, that's a good, um, a good little service. A good initiative, whatever you want to call it. Right, back at the lakeside. So the sky, if I'm being honest, it looks a bit temperamental. Temperamental? Temperamental. So, I don't know what we're going to do. We were going to head out far away, but we can't be really driving about in the rain, so we might just take a day to chill and head out in the evening and show you some bits and bobs. Just pulled off the road because we saw this little juice stand, fresh juice stand. Now this lady has got these oranges. Are these Sri Lankan oranges? What are they? They look like it. And then I think they put salt and pepper into these street juices. So we're gonna get one of Amalan's fresh juices. Vanna come. Please can we get one orange juice? Yes. This? Ice no. Ice no, just fresh juice. No problem, no ice, okay. And please can we have salt, pepper? What? You know, salt, pepper? Salt, orange. Okay, yes, yes. And this. Pepper. Yes, yes, please. You put that little bit in? Yes. Okay, however you do. Okay. Just one, please. Okay, thank you. Just one? Just one. Like this. Yes, please. I'm just gonna have a quick nausea of this juice. So I think this is the Sri Lankan orange. Orange, you call it. But if you look inside, it is not orange at all. It looks just like a lime. And look, a bit of pepper. So you can see the pepper. juice. It does not look like orange juice. Pepper, yeah. What's this, vinegar? Salt. Salt, oh, like salt, salt water. water. Oh, okay. Right. So yeah, this should be an interesting one. She also got loads of colourful owl. Just hit my head on a roof. She also got loads of colourful syrups. They look good, they look sweet. What's this? This special ingredient going in. Oh, what is this? Casa. Casa. Seeds. Oh, some type of seed. Hey, it's not your standard juice, this is all going on. Right. So let's see what's this, the water. What's that? Why is it off-white? What is this? Sugar. Sugar? Oh, sugar water. Oh, okay. Sugar water. Water, maybe it's water mixed with like, some type of natural sugar. <laughs> no, I think it won't be too sweet. I think we'll mix some sugar in. Is it uh, palmera sugar? Palmera sugar? No. Like, pa palmera? Palmera. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's stop asking her too many questions and just let her do what she does. Sorry. Like an annoying kid on her shoulder going, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this? And so the bellies can tag this one. What is ice. this? Uh, ice. One, one oh, no ice. No ice. 
No ice, it's okay. We'll just drink it as it is. Is that a good choice? Look at this. It's getting mixed up now. With all the seeds in as well. What's this? Like a cocktail shaker? Flipping out. Right everyone, here we go. Now I did not ask how much this is, so I have no idea. But it'll be alright. There she goes. Oh, it's like cloudy. Frothy. Little straw goes in, right? Wow. Run my dungeon, thank you. There we go, Lee. The magical mystery juice here on the streets in Sri Lanka. And it's very, very hot. So you ask for no arse. I mean, we probably could just drink an arse, but we'll play it cooler. Oh, I like that. That's very weird though. That is so weird. You first drink it. I don't mind that it's warm actually, it's quite nice. And you first get like a rush of sweetness. And then you like crunch on the pepper and you get a proper strong pepper taste. That's quite good that. Them Sri Lankan oranges are hitting hard. I think you'll like that Luis. It's very unappetizing. It does not look like the nicest juice ever, but try it. I think it's quite good, didn't you? It's tasty. It's good, isn't it? Mm. I mean, yeah, you're right. It looks a bit suspicious, mm. but... It's delicious. It's good. It almost tastes like bubble gum. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Like all the seeds as well floating around on top. Oh, well. I like it. How much is the juice? How much is the juice? 100. 100. Do you have change for five? Okay, don't worry, I have I have small change. I've got a 50. Oh, 100, okay. 100 for the juice. Okay, Roma Nandri. It was very good, very delicious. Goodbye. There we go. Amalan's fresh juices. Tell you what, she's doing it just right there. Look at this. Tiny little number on the side of the road. We flew past it and I had to slam on the brakes and I said, I want to try one of them. And it was good. The pepper was very good in there. So here we go, let's um, hit the road again. Just a simple little setup, in it? Right, vamanos. Right, everyone, we are off out again. We're heading out to try Sri Lankan Kotu for the very first time. I'm excited, I think it's gonna be really good. And then after that, we're gonna head down to the seafront for a beautiful sunset. Should be good. Right, everyone, let's get our first taste of Sri Lankan Kotu. Here we are, Sri Palm Beach. Our hotel owner, Tony the legend, recommended we come here and you can hear them making the Kotu now. Very loud. So here we go, welcome. Right, look at that. That's how you know it's a proper spot, eh? <laughs> These are good, don't they? So the actual dish is in here, but really good. I'm guessing this is mutton, chicken. Looks like fried chicken as well. Sorry, mate. What the hell? It's um, a tight one. Oh, yeah, it looks fantastic. I mean, it looks heavy and oily, but you know. This look good. Oh, we put one table on the back. Yeah. So here we go, everyone. Quite um, chilly, yeah, in here. It's cool in here, isn't it? It's a um, simple little spot, but I like it. Just see you in front. Hi, Bob. Hello, sir. Please come in. Uh, one chicken cotton, one mutton cotton. Oh. Okay. Right. oh, I'll have to tell him. Yeah, 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 Did you tell him? Get it nice and spicy. Yeah. Should be good in here. It's a busy spot. Full of locals. It does smell good. Right, I'm excited for this. Right, April. I'll tell you what. Cotton is a loud fish, isn't it? 
flipping egg. The whole restaurant's dead. I've got this really bad thing where when there's loud noise like that, like drums and that, I can't help it but blink. I just can't help it, I'm like that. I just want to show you how I'm making the coffee here. Malakam, hello sir. In the noise section. The deafening section. I think this is ours actually. Oh, that looks well good. So you can see he's got all his gear here. He's got the chopped up roti. Veg. What's that, onion? Spring onion, I don't know. And it's all that curry sauce. The eggs. Hey. This is gonna be well good. Alright, let's wash my hands. Then we can eat. Where's the sink leash? Just down here. Just in here. Right, we're gonna wash our hands. Oh wow, it's out. Chicken? Chicken, yeah. Okay, Nanji. Wow. Okay, don't worry, we use our hands, don't worry. Chicken? Mutton? And he keeps telling us his um, cutlery here. He doesn't know full time legends, does he? So yeah, that, I'll tell you what, this looks heavy, this looks big, this looks filling. And then we've also got the side of the curry, so I've got the side of mutton curry. Oh, use the spoons for the curry part, man. Look at that, mutton curry, little chunks of mutton, it actually looks quite good. Now least she's got the chicken curry. Hey, that looks well good, that. Oh, it looks rich, doesn't it? It's very rich, bit of oil in there. So, while we've got a minute before our mate starts smack, smack, smacking again, Kotu, like you said, is chopped up roti, mixed with chilies, a bit of veg, onion, the meat of your choice, and then curry. So, there she is. Well, look at that. It's heavy as well. Look at this. Look at meal. <laughs> right then, let's try this Kotu. First time on the old Sri Lankan kotu. How good does that look? Right, what do we do? Let's try it without the sauce first. Let's just see, it's very hot, very fresh. There's egg in there as well, I've got to say. Let's just try it. Oh, it's so hot, it's burning my hands. This, big chilli stem in. All right, come on, we can do this. Oh, what's this? Chilli. Spicy, oh, that looks like top stuff. Yep, oh mate, just delivered the goods, a little spicy dip. It's that chili or that all made. It looks well good. So let's try it. It's so, it's so hot. Mm. Oh, that one. Oh, good. Ketchup. Sauce, sauce. Tomato sauce. Oh, good, thank you. Let's get the ketchup away. <laughs> We'll have this chili oil instead. And this is really good, it's really interesting because the roti, cold roti is actually really nice. It's obviously a roti, chopped into little pieces, nice and soft. It's really good. But this dish is just full of flavour. Mmm. Only a little bit spicy. It's like comfort food. A little bit salty. With the crunch of the onion in there. Oh, look. And that's got a big piece of chilli. And that, that chilli is fantastic. What else do we have? We also got little bits of mutton in there. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Oh, thank you. I don't want to be eating that bit, that's a bad bit. Let's just try it with some of that curry sauce. Some of that mutton meat. Looks well with that. Pour some of that in there. So the sauce, the heavy sauce. So it does look heavy. Let's try that. Do a little bit of a mix up. Mm. It's really good. I really like it. Really tasty. Um, it is rich, it's quite heavy. It's a proper meal, that. A little bit salty for me. Hey, proof. What do you reckon, Liz? How's the chicken really cotton? Chicken's really good. I really like the chicken. It is salty. It's been fried in like a load of different stuff. It tastes like fennel to me as well. It's like, there's a lot going on in it. Oh, yeah. Really I'm getting that fennel flavour, yeah. My curry's like 
really earthy. Why is half of your curry on the table, Leash? What happened there? Someone came up and tried to take it off. I actually punched my face and said, get off my career. So you have to defend yourself. You've got to defend your totty, haven't you? Yeah. But no, it's actually really good. I like it. Let's just try some of these chunks of mutton, some of the bigger chunks. It's really good. Mm. Just realise one more thing we have to try. This chili oil madness, look at that. That looks so good. Love this stuff. Just mix some of that directly in there. And we'll just grab it. There we go. See how it is? Oh, that's too much. It's really good. Oh, it's got to be careful with that. Salty at the same time. It's very good. Oh, it's fishy. What's in that? Dry fish. Yeah, it's got to be dry fish in there. It's got a really heavy, salty, dried fish taste as well. Mm. That fish you throw in a nasty there, Mac. But yeah, this is good. Really good. Yeah, it's that big, isn't it? Massive portion. Wow, that is so. So fishy. I, I didn't know. I took a little bit of that. Cheers, sir. 1,700 for everything. Which is alright. The meat dish is that big. So filling. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. 1,700 perfect. It was very good. Okay. Mind you. Right, no, uh, 3,300 back. 1,700. So, yeah, the food. In Sri Lanka, like that dish, a proper nice strong taste of fennel in. There are loads of fennel seeds in there, I like it. So we're going to go for sunset. A lovely sunset here in Sri Lanka. Hopefully it'll be nice because, like you saw, it's been raining today. The sky's a bit cloudy. So let's see if we can get a nice one. Every other night it's been crystal clear and the sun is just massive. Hey, look at this trick we've learned. Big Tony, shout out. Put the helmet strap in there, no one can pinch it unless they, well, they could just cut it off. But who can be asked doing that? And they look like a dodgy bastard here that someone else's bike's sewing through a strap anyway. Spot we're heading to watch the sunset is just down there. But we've pulled over because we see this stand every day when we drive past. Now it's just fried shit, essentially. Look, fried chilies, fried. What's that? What is that? I don't know. I think he's got cassava chips. But the jalebi are red, I think there's just food colouring, but... Okay, where is our mate? Malakam. Please can we get some jalebi? Please. How many do you want, Leash? Should we just get one each? Yeah. And then we'll get some of these cassava chips as well. Is that what they are? They look, uh, they look good, actually. They're really thick. They're the same, same, same. They look clean and they look like they... Let me get them to take away. Get them to take away, yeah. What's that? Is that candied jackfruit? What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of this stuff is. No, we'll just get the just the the jale jalebi, and then please can we get some of these? Right, I don't know what we're getting here, but we're just <laughs> we're trying, we're trying. Oh, absolute disaster that! <laughs> All got our hand on it. Made this massive box of like every single thing in his stall. I had to like say, mate, 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 stop, stop, stop. We just want the cassava chips and the jalebi, but they like kind of half made that, so I think he just heavily overcharged us for these, but it is what it is, so. Time for sunset. Right then, we've nipped down by Jaffna Fort. Check it out, pretty cool. To watch the sunset here, so. We'll just sit here by the water. We were gonna head over that bridge, but there's just loads of traffic on it and buses and stuff, and we don't want to be stood there pretty much on the road. No, no one wants that, do they, when they're trying to watch the sunset? So we'll just chill here. Who's this mama? You're alright, ain't you? So here's our little sunset spot. Now the sun has actually just gone behind the clouds. Like I said, it's been a rainy day. Not a good sunset, but it is what it is. These crows are doing my absolute nothing as well. Just, they just circle you. They're horrible, they make these horrible noises and they just 
jump around. Look at it. One pecked Leash's head the other day at the ferry port. Jumped on her head and pecked her. The, the rats. I ate them. We're going to try this jalebi. It's red. Is it just food colouring? Maybe so. No, I don't know. No, it's not just food colouring. Maybe a red syrup. I really like that. What is it? Raspberry, strawberry? Not on. Some type of berry. Oh, it's really good, that. I like it. Please, do you want to try this? It's really good. You might be able to tell us the flavour. It's definitely like some type of sweet syrup. It's not, but I don't think mm. I like raspberry maybe. Mm. Very sweet. It's pretty good. I'm a fan. I don't know how long it's been sitting in that man's window though. Because we've driven past that earlier in the afternoon and I've seen it, so it could have been there all day. But uh, it's fried snack, I'm not being funny. I just couldn't think of anything worse than eating stuff like that. Well they fry them and just leave them sitting for five hours because they're lazy and they just want to sit there twiddling their thumbs on their phone. Fry them fresh. You don't need to make a mountain of snacks to sit in the window in the hot weather. Not the allergy bastard. Then we also got a bag of these, what we think are cassava chips with some like magical substance sprinkled over them. They look all right. Mm. We're all right. Nice little snack actually, like a crisp. So there's your magical sunset. How much are you loving life, Leash? I hate the corals, they're the worst things ever. They're so annoying and they scare me now because it, it actually hurt my head. And they're just like, like vermin. I'm just stand there looking at you, turning their head to the side, staring at you. There's disgusting rats. I I'd, honestly, I, if I had a gun, really I'd shoot you all. I'd, I'd shoot you all. Give me a BB gun, get rid of them. They, just, they circle you. Close to you, as well. you can't have a minute in peace. Anyway, I'll just show you the view one last time. It's actually alright because down by the fort you've got this park area. Everyone can come and chill out in. And then yeah. All the fishermen are out there. So it looks like that'll be all for today. Next time you see us, we'll be somewhere else here in sunny Sri Lanka. It's in a bit. Okay everyone, now I know I said I've ended this video, but on the way home, we went past this juice shop and I couldn't resist from going in. So, I think Leisha's ordered, what have you ordered? Papaya? Leisha's on a papaya juice and then I'm going to try a wood apple juice. Now this is a fruit that we have never seen in our lives. Sri Lankan fruit, apparently, it's a bit of a funny one. It smells strange, so when it cuts it open, I'm going to ask if we can try a little bit of the actual flesh as well. And then we'll try the juice, but yeah. What a funny little fruit. It's heavy. Wood apple. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. So you can see he's got loads of them here. So yeah, interesting stuff. I'm excited to try that. I've been wanting to try it since came to Sri Lanka. Our mate says there's some good ones up here in Japan, so... Trust him. So we're going to watch our mate cut open this wood apple, right? Here we go. Oh, it's hard. Look at that. In England, no wood apple. Only Sri Lanka. Wow, what a strange fruit. Which bit do you eat? Oh, it smells funky. Oh, it's, it's got a very strong smell. You just scoop a little bit, and it all of it. Can you eat it all? Oh gosh. So you can just eat all of it. Okay, right. Sri Lankan wood apple. What a strange fruit. 
It's good, but it's so strange. Very interesting. Uh, you put in uh, sugar, medium mm -hmm. sugar, mixed. And mix it tastes better. Very good. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, sir. Let's just have one more look at that. Yeah, okay. It's weird. It's like... Oh, okay. Thank you so much. How do I explain that taste? I've never tasted anything like it. It's got this really pungent aftertaste as well. Wow, what a weird fruit. It's like the durian of Sri Lanka. What a weird fruit. My mind's blown with that. It's like soft and creamy, but then also like a bit fibrous. At least it tastes weird, that. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's just a very interesting taste. I've never had out like it. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone says it tastes like blue cheese. It's in that category of taste, like what, what I would say like a strong durian is in, or it used to be in, now I like it, right, no matter what, but... Well, let's see how the juice is. It does have a bit of a stinky aftertaste though. And here she is, the infamous wood apple juice. I'm excited to try this one. Now Leash last minute changed her order, she's gone for the pineapple, papaya and guava. A classic combo, now let me tell you about this when we went on our first ever holiday to Cuba. We drank these all the time, and it brings back good memories. So look at that, that looks good. Do I try yours first? Yeah, it smells really good. Mm. It literally is so fresh. It's really good. It's a lot of pineapple in it. Mm. Yummy. Good? Well done. Now here we go, the wood apple, Sri Lanka's finest. Hey, it smells all right. So I waited till my mate makes his man's juice and I'll try it. Here we go. Hey, it's a lot better in juice form. I like it. Let's put some sugar in, some of the bits and bobs. It's all right, it's really refreshing. And it's quite um, thick. As you can see, it's quite thick. I just don't know what I can compare it to. Try it, Leash. It's a lot better in juice form. It's nice and sweet. Oh my God, it's sweet and sour. Yeah, it's sour. <laughs> it's got a bit of an aftertaste, though. Anyway, it's just like really, really sour. It tastes almost like tamarind, is that sour? Hey, maybe. Mm. It's good, though. It's funny one, isn't it? Actually, afterwards, it tastes a bit like, like yogurt, like fermented yogurt. Wow. I mean, it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> Let us know, Sri Lanka folks. Let us know about the wood apple. What do you think about it? No, it's alright. I think it may be some quiet taste, but I could drink it again easily. The actual fruit on its own, though, I'd have to eat a few times get used to it. It wasn't bad, it was just a bit strange. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, oh he's scuttling up my own. Oh, don't go into my t-shirt. Oh no. Oh, no. Is he in the pits? <laughs> Where is he going? Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. <laughs> he's going to jump in your juice. Oh, he's so tiny. Look at his little mix. Oh, oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh no, he's blocked on the table. Come back. Come, no, oh no, no, don't jump. Oh. There he is. He's tiny. Look at him. Look at his little mix. He's rather cute. He's alright, isn't he? Alright, pal. He doesn't like you. He doesn't like me. Alright. 